All right, let's take a quick look at what GraphQL and Reason on the front end looks like. Uh, to start with, we can go ahead and use a GraphQL PPX, which is similar to a Graph GQL tag and not just normal JavaScript. And with that, we get to write our queries in line uh, using GraphQL syntax. It's going to be parsed for us, uh, but it's going to do a bunch of extra stuff like uh, type checking the arguments and the return fields and whatnot. So for example, if I make this email argument required, and go down here and I see that I immediately get an error because we did not pass in an email argument. So now let's go ahead and pass this in. And now it type checks. And whenever we actually use this query, uh, we're going to use a higher order component, in which case uh, we're going to go ahead and be forced to look at all the states that the response could be in. For example, it could be still loading. Uh, it might have failed with an error. If I take a look, I can see that that error is just a string. So we'll go ahead and render that in line or it might have loaded, in which case we can go ahead and parse our results. I can go ahead and ask what's the type of this result, and I see that it's an object with a me field, it has a one graph with a nullable field, and then finally uh, a full name. So I can go ahead and switch off of that. Uh, I'm forced to handle both the null case and the, uh, the successful case. If uh, one graph is null, I'm going to ask just the user to log into one graph, and if they are logged in, I can see that uh, this is going to be an object with a full name field, so just go ahead and render that in line. If I have a typo here, for example, if I just ha thought it was name, then I'll go ahead and get an error immediately. It'll tell me that uh, this doesn't have a method name, but it does have a full name. Also, I get nice auto-completion. Um, and if I change the field over here, so let's say that I wanted to have, for example, an email field as well, and I ask for what's the type of result right now, you can see that now down at the bottom, email is alongside full name. So I can go ahead and say, for example, I want to render this inside of a div. And I want to say that also I'll render their email. So there we go. Uh, able to get end-to-end -end type checking both on the uh, arguments of the query itself, also on the states that the response might be in. And also, uh, whenever we're accessing any of the subfields, uh, we make sure that the type is uh, correct as well. So no more runtime errors and a beautiful in-editor experience.